in here welcome back to this live tutorials hope everyone having a fabulous friday and here is this really cute the cute nails uh designs that he did it earlier so like it's so cool and it's so easy to do so today we are back with friday fusioning i mean marbles designs using goods fusioning sometimes the live video we did is marble design using the uh blossom gel but today we want to do a fusioning and i'm so excited because what we're going to do is the um the uh, neon fusioning i'm gonna doing like um kind of recreate the looks of he did it it looks so cute though he did this two color and i'm so curious to create it how it's gonna turn out so this is two color is is a fusioning neon passionate and fusioning neon majestic i love this two colors so vibrant perfect for spring and summer and then when you are doing the any of the looks of the marble looks only you need is pick any of the color of the glitz fusioning don't forget to do yourself a favor this two bestie will definitely do every oh little of the designs to create his marble lights for you which is a matte top coat and the crystal clear so let's get started and i have the uh, swatch that i did using number 25 from glitz gel polish and each layer cure for 60 seconds and then i did finish a matte top coat and cure for 60 seconds so give this neon passionate a little bit of shake and then also the majestic these two colors so i'm gonna kind of uh, recreate what teal did it is really cool and here i'm gonna move it it's really quick right here on ship on my right side there are some of the cute designs i'm using created from the um the crystal mix bags from the sub box this month which is my sub box that i did so plus adding some of the glow in the docks and glow in the black lights crystal so i'm so excited so let's get started so i'm gonna do like it looks like he did the neon pink passionate and then the majestic on the side so i'm gonna try to do that see how it's gonna turn out all right so i'm gonna add it looks like he's getting this one on that angle. And then, and you can edit more or less. It's up to you if you want the pigment to be a little bit more vibrant, like brighter. You can add more. We're going to go ahead and using Majestic. Oh, I'm accidentally heated in this splash everywhere. And I'm going to go follow this part right there. and let it air dry. Should we do a different color too? We'll start with those and you can do another one. Yeah, let's do four of them. Because I have four design. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So, when it's set, make sure you get a piece of paper on the side so then that the purpose of it, you are going to dab and release all of the pigment and the residues from the uh, crystal clear bristles. So then that way, when you are going to dip it back in, it will not carry any colors of the pigments back into the bottle of the fusioning crystal clear. So I'm gonna do it just getting just a little bit of crystal clear and kind of work just like a dab along and then let it like spread it out itself okay wipe it off first i have it on my right hand i don't think it's, it's show on the uh under the camera but we're gonna just like dab it and let it like spread it itself and kind of also blend on the uh part of the purple's majestic as well same thing what did you do earlier did you just like dab like that pretty much that's not fishing anywhere it's okay. very easy simple to use and what you can create it just really really nice really organic look like really authentic look mm -hmm. uh, it almost guaranteed to be a one-on-one there won't be another design look exactly like that. 
like kind of really you can get a similar design but it will never be one for one for sure guarantee it's cool though because it's how marble is supposed to look you know mm -hmm. if you want to get in your it's like veining on you can looking good mm -hmm. and then if you want your veining to be more precise you can definitely is give it a little bit of the brush on mm -hmm. so the product we're using is our gliss fusion i'm gonna put it right here for people to see those are the two color we do passionate neon and majestic neon so then he did it and then it has a less a little bit of the um the veining right here you can definitely get it lighter darker however you prefer oh i'm gonna add things a little bit Ooh. not bad at all i'm trying to like copy it see it's gonna be exactly the same but she has had her own character there mm -hmm. all right so be happy with this you want to stop right here it looks really good in person under the camera is so vibrant all right so what about this next one what should we do what other colors hmm? uh, you want more neon or you the want green more black? Oh, Teresa. Hello. Everything is on sale. This is a great question. Thanks so much for tuning in and happy Friday. So everything is on sales is special for this week and next week. So it's end on Mother's Day, I believe on May 14. And throughout this special is Mother's Day special event sales. There's will be a free mystery Glitch treasure bags. I'm going to show you the bags. Um, and for all the order, for all the purchases of $99, um, you know, after the tax and discounts and shipping fees. So just make sure if you are not sure, we can always check back with us and then see like, hey, is my total come out this? And then uh, with the shipping, you can able to screenshot it for us and then we can able to um access you like you know if you short in like 50 cent make sure you don't miss out because the gliss mystery trailer back is getting so much better and better and better and it's so adorable and the bags can be reusable for whatever you want to do and, and look good yes we ship to canada this is one of them on my hand but there are so many of them already and waiting to come home to you but it's stuff and it's stuff with this and you can't put any more of others, you know, like so stuff. And I'm so excited. It's special, like, is Mystery Share the Bags is back now. So then it's special, it's celebrate with Mother Days. So I'm so excited. So let's do the next one. What is the next one we're doing? These two colors? Yes, I think green and red. What do green and red turn out though? Uh, you get a little bit of purple in the middle and the other two will be nice. And also it's red neon, so it will look. All right, so give it a try and see what's up with this. Amy. And Zoom, the mystery bag is, if you want to purchase it separately, is $20 and give you about $50 worth of value. $44.99, there you go. With a lot of stuff in there. And it can be yours for free if you purchase Nine nine dollars or more in your order during our Mother Day sale live right now. And then if you're not sure that is qualified for getting a free treasure bag, so make sure um, DM us. Our team will be so happy to assist you because we don't want you to miss out like a one dollars or fifty cent because then after the discount it will take like your order down to really good twenty percent. So make sure you don't miss it out. Um, because it doesn't count the discounts and it doesn't count the shippings and taxes. So I'm going to give it a try and I'll see what is different colors. Winning heart. I don't have an 
Okay, I'm going to do the regular and see what's up. Give it a good check. So, we're going to do... Why is that burning heart and thinking green? It looks like a Christmas color. It's not. It's just your good old watermelon. Uh, I don't know, but I will do right. it for you. So, you got the uh, outside layer and then all the stuff inside of Jeep. I'm gonna do thinking green. Let's see. Maybe I can do thinking green and passionate. <laughs> hey, so we have about sixteen color. Do you need add some left? I think six eighteen color color. of yes, yeah, six color of neon and twelve color of regular. So you have a lot of options to choose from. And we have plenty of live, plenty of video tutorial on any color you like. So you can get it and you have something to try on right away. All right. So I'm going to do this and then see, I'm going to do opposite. Oh, hey, love can request yellow and green. So probably we can do that a little bit later. But right now we have green and oh, that's a really nice pink. Neon green and um, neon pink, neon passionate. Neon, no, I mean green and what is that? The uh, yellow delights. I tried to thinking of the name because <laughs> there's so many colors. Delights. Okay, so we'll do a um, it doesn't matter, it's going to get four of them, but all you need, you don't need anything else, just crystal clear piece of paper so right on my right side so then I can just dab all that residues like look at that I did all the pigments in here and we're gonna kind of marbleize it all right so I'm gonna do and I'm gonna just give it like a really quick just a little bit loading a little bit of your crystal clear that's all you need little a crystal clear go a long way this is definitely is the fusionings is nasty because it does because it's really cool and it's floating so easy this is a keys for your marbles lights design and make sure you wipe off your bristle when you before you put it back in it looks like a watermelon's color mm -hmm. so then that way it would not going to contaminate your pigment to the crystal clear because you, if you are doing it different colors you don't want your crystal clear to become totally of not crystal clear it might turn out to different colors it depends on the pigment that you put it back in so make sure you are going to wipe that bristle off I'm gonna give a little bit of more. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is looks cool. Yep. So Zully in our fusioning set, there's a color we call crystal clear. So that's the thing we dab to spread out all the ink to create that marble look. So when you get your fusioning set, your bundle, it will be in there. Or you can get it separately. This little like crystal clears go a long way. And then you can do however you want. If you want yours, pigment your colors. More colors. You can dab a little bit more. Now I'm going to get a little bit more of a precise, like more defined design. You can able to get your crystal clear look for you. And more importance, like having fun with this, have fun with this. It should not be identical one for another, even though you try to. This that how beautiful of it and it's created. It's like effortless for you. And it doesn't matter how many you're adding it on a little bit. You only need a little bit of crystal clear, a little go a long way. You would never go wrong with this. I having fun. Like you can stop at any point. You can definitely stop at any point if you want to continue definitely do so 
but you can stop at any like you see that you can stop or you can continue to adding it more of a crystal clear and then create a different veining like this one if you want a little bit of softer veining you can definitely give a quick swipe right here and that's how it's come out it's really beautiful and nice Oh, you stop at any point. Looks cool. And you can vein it, like say, if you want to vein this one to be thinner, only you need to do is getting a little bit of crystal clear and you don't need any other tool and you brush it off, just using your crystal clear and then the bristle will definitely do all the work for you. Look at that, how you can just go in thinner and it more of a precise. So it doesn't matter if you are beginners or you are pros, you can definitely get a hang of it it's really fast. As long as you don't loading it with a whole, like, like load it with a lot of crystal clear, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot because you don't want to wash off all of your pigment. So make sure you all wipe it like this and just give it a little bit. It's about... How much you can feel that like this instead of if you drop it in and it's it flooded your uh pigment that is mean that you might use a little bit too much so you can always get a little and you can easy to control it so much better all right so here's a look and then we have one more nails left we can do what we do a uh, green i think you say green and, and delight yes okay delight we have the neon's color or we have a delight of maybe we should do delights of that i'm thinking green i can add both delights on and give it a good shake Quick check, quick check. Thanks so much, Instagram fam, Facebook fam, YouTube fam, and TikTok fam. You guys are amazing. And I hope you are having a fabulous Friday. I do like yours better, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe mine's a lot. Maybe mine have a lot of pigment. So I'm going to add some delight randomly. I love how it's playing with and working with the visioning. Like you will never have to worry about go wrong with this. There are no right way or wrong ways at all. You dap it however you want. And then you can definitely control and and um guide it. And I'm gonna done with the delights. And then we're gonna have delight of the of neon and see what is gonna turn out. And that what we're doing, thinking green. Ooh, it's cool. And you can, I'm going to dab it like along with the um, regular delight. Okay, let it air dry. It's so pigmented and vibrant. And I'm going to add some of the thinking green and see what it's going to turn out. I'm so excited. Just this one is like a little bit. Just randomly. And then see. Okay. Crystal clear. That's only you need. And then a piece of paper. All right. Let it you see that how it starts getting dry, air dry. And then I'm gonna just like dab it in, wipe off first, do it the same, repeating it. It's cool. And do it again. You can do like curve to the left, twist to the right, however you want. I'm just like trace to wherever my dab that I dab a green, but you can draw it however. Okay. 
do it again. More, this to more define, you see that load with your crystal clear and have your tip of your bristle is go in like next to your veining. You see how I give it like more precise now and a more defy of yours veining now. That look almost like a mojito. For real? Mm -hmm. We got some lemon in there. We got some slide of lemon and all your soda. Mm. Come on, you don't even drink. <laughs> And you're playing a bubble on there. Oh, this looks cool though. All yeah. right, so who's request this one for? That was love here. Oh, okay. Hopefully, you are still here to claim your nails. Mm -hmm. She might have already went off to the website to get some stuff. Oh, so I like it a lot. It looks so cool. So you see that how you can do? Doesn't matter. You are absolutely control 100 of what is you are going to create and i'm here to tell you i promise when you have like just dab any of the um pigment of effusioning you will never go wrong with this and only here's that some of important tip and trick that i'm going to share with you when you're loading when you're getting your crystal clear just make sure that you're using a little bit give it a little bit on the bristles you, you little go a long way and then after that you kind of like know that where you want to dab it and you can load it a little bit more as you prefer but i will doing a little bit less because in that way you don't want to wash off all your pigment so i'm so excited this is so cool because i have an idea for this one yep. Yep. i feel this uh we're gonna turn out the lights just for a second, just to see how you guys, that neon is gonna go. Let's see, the neon? Uh-huh, cool. Ooh! Yeah. Cool. Hold on, let me, how is that so bright? You're getting closer. Look at this. really bright. <laughs> cool. <laughs> see, yeah. this is a thing is it is. All right. So should we do all the crystal designs on this? Because look at this Instagram can see. I just make a little bit messes with the mm -hmm. fusioning. But look at this. We're going to do all the crystal on it. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see the crystal designs. Or else we'll just talk old and we'll call it good. Well, let's do one nail with crystal. All right. Start with my or whatever. Okay. So which one do you want? This one I can do a little bit lighter. Yep. So though. either on the mojito or you can do on the pink and purple. This one, do this one. Sure, do it. All right. All right. So we're gonna do. If you love crystal designs and your crystal design, it is looks so cute on the social media and on the pictures. And then the next few days, that is popping off. It gradually coming off. This is definitely gonna be your bestie and will back you up every single time. And her nose is holding all the crystal designs for my clients, for myself, and a thousand, thousand of a nail tech out there. And I know that it will definitely take your business to the next level. So I'm gonna start with the crystal um, trifecta. And then first we're gonna using a crystal, the IHO condensed glue gels, a thick density. So it will hold, you see that how thick it's not running at all. So it will able to hold all your crystal in one place. And the condensed glue gels, and also, no wipe top coat will double secure all your crystals. So now, I'm doing this really simple is the marble today. However, if you want to add some the um, chamfer foils, you can definitely do that as well. Today, we'll make it really cute and fun. As you are learning the techniques is the um, marble look using glitz fusioning. So no wipe top coat, but you know, you can add so many different layers on it. So you don't have to just limit that. Only fusioning and crystal. I'm going to move that on off of my side because I need to get the brush. Okay. So no wipe top coat floating right on the top. You see that how my bristle is just floating right on the top because you do not want, you want to get a double layer, but you don't want to pull off, like pull all of your condensed glue gels away. Okay.
Oh, I should be doing one of the um, extra things. Which one should we do? Ooh, any flower. Any flower. You know Look what? At do the, the bottom one. one. This one? Bottom one. Last one. This one? Mm-hmm. All right. Here's flowers come. is come on my... You know what? Are you sure? Yes. Because you got the blue in there. You got some blue crystal in there. I like it. So once you put the blue out, the flower will stand out. So we are doing is super cute, like the centerpiece for us. A lot of questions ask, how do you start or how do you know um, what to do and what to adding on the crystal design? Basically, it's really simple. You add a centerpieces first, which is on this design. My centerpieces is the cute flowers for my crystal mix bag. And on the this month's box, I'm gonna adding around with the filler, and follow it with the glow in the dots and then glow in the black lights crystal kits. And I'm using SS tens, SS twelve. I'm gonna add some beads on it. You can definitely skip the beats if you just like want just crystal only. And the best place to adding some beats on to make it looks like is a piece of jewelry is right between the crystal and crystal, like basically right in the joys of the crystals. Okay, we are go ahead and here if you're happy. I might add a couple more. We can do two nails with crystal because I like this crystal placement. Really simple. We have centerpieces. First is the flowers and then add the frame and then the crystals in the middle of the frame and add the filler and the beads around with your main centerpieces. So here you got a really cute, simple, uh, fun crystal and charm designs. Looks really good in person though. Make sure you keep it. Make sure you keep it. Oh, the best things about the crystal trifecta that you if you pay attention on it and i shifting and i add more like now i still want to add a couple more of the beads in there you have all the time in the words it's not going to dry and then here until you are going to place it under the ld light so usually you check with the clients and make sure they are staying nice in exactly the spot that you are going to do get a piece of paper and wipe it off on the edges. Kia for 60 seconds. This way didn't have any um veining on there. It looks so stunning. You can add veinings on if you prefer. Today we're doing like really simple and cute. So which one next one? You can do on yellow with the uh this one. Uh second one. Second one? Second mm -hmm. one have yellow too. A little bit. Oh, you can do the first one. This is Simple. Um, I don't know. I like this one. Okay. Do it. Oh, maybe no. Do this one. Do this one different. Okay. Okay. Do a flowers with the frame. So again, for anyone just tuning in, I am using a crystal trifecta for the crystal design. This bestie will holding all your crystal in one place for weeks to come. If you love crystal designs. And have so many different crystals and charm and chains and looks good and it keep like popping off or it's just like catching one thing. This is gonna be your bestie. So we're gonna floating no wipe top coat right on the top. So today we are doing a flat back crystal, which is anything that is in the back is really nice and pretty much just flat and it closer to the nail surface, so it is flat back. But if you are doing any a big crystal that it have cluster, like a pointed back, definitely the crystal, um, the extra thick condensed glue gel will be that bestie for those, you know, uh, beauty. So 
don't key anything yet. So if you apply the condensed cool gels and then follow right away with the um, no web top coat and don't key it. So I'm going to go ahead and adding the frame on and put the crystal shape. And then adding a flavor, some crystal. So now in my centerpiece in this beautiful design, it is the frame. And then I add the uh, centerpieces of the crystal right inside the frame. And then start adding filler, which is the flowers, charms. And then we can add some beads on as well. Adding some frame on. How about this one? Mm. It's not bad. Not bad. Just pop really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some beads on. Add the beads between the crystal and crystal or crystal and charms. Next one. Hmm. Let me see if I can find the smaller crystal or maybe beads. No beads. Cool. Happy with this? We'll go ahead and here for 60 seconds. Give it a quick wipe. Swipe underneath. And here, this one looks so cute though. Mm -hmm. Should I have another, another, hold on. If you want to get, I love it that how crystal trifecta, you can definitely add more of crystal as you prefer. And I'm add just one more right there. You don't have to. I see it's so cute, so I'm going to add one to make them kind of connect together. And you can shift, turn it, like, I mean, adjusting it accordingly before you are going to gear. All right. Here for 60 seconds. Like crooked anything. This is all oil. All right. In the meantime, waiting for that beauty to be here. I am going ahead and using precision glue gels. This is definitely gonna be a crystal lifesaver. So I'm gonna using one end first, which is this, and I'm using a lot as is give me a really precise of how much a precision glue gels I wanted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal it all on the top of the metal beads and metal frame. This is not only to prevent from catching on the hair or the clothes or fabric, but also it will prevent all the beads and the metal frame from getting tarnished, you know, as you are or your clients washing their hands a lot, a lot of hand sanitizer nowadays. A lot of cleaning, a lot of bleaching. You want to make sure those this beads and the frame got to be sealed so then it won't get tarnished fast or easy. So I'm going to go ahead and seal all the metal frame. In the meantime, if you see that, I go and check, check, check on all the edges and the crevice of the crystal and charms. If you feel a little bit scratchy right here, all you need to do is just squeeze just a little bit. You see that how much I need? I squeeze it out just a little, go a long way because you want it to fill in all the gap of the crystal and the nail surface, not like to cap on, on the top of the crystal. So Kia for 60 seconds, just in case you need to repeating it because you feel like it's still catching on the hair, the clothes after you Kia and the clients like feel like it's still sketchy, you are going to seal it again, but make sure between the each layer, you're going to give it a quick Kia flash Kia for 30 seconds. So same thing with this now, I am go ahead and seal, 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 seal. 
all the frame and metal beads frame and metal beads to make sure they are not only looks good for weeks to come but also is gonna stay intact with the nails so i'm gonna go ahead and seal check 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 when you feel scratchy all you need to do is just a little bit you see that how much I squeeze it out like just a little and little go a long way you don't want to loading a lot of pre-season glue gels it's gonna make it looks like lumpy bumpy and seals around the crystal and just just here's a, some tip and trick for you just in case you feel like a little bit of the extra precision glue gels i'm gonna using a twin tip brush and on the other end which is the precise brush i'm gonna give it a quick swipe blend it out and here you got the beautiful ceiling all right so Okay, here this for 60 seconds. And what's up with this nails? Are we doing top coat? So this top coat? Oh. You can do one matte and one Ve shiny. Maybe I can do veining. Let's do some veining. So, so, it won't be. so now if you have a class, don't want any get do with anything with crystal whatsoever. You can definitely fulfill their request by using the veining to give it a little bit of cute on a veining. So I'm using the tin chip brush. Definitely, if you are the beginner nail tech or pros that you get into the crystal designs or like a sum of really simple art, this is definitely a going to be your bestie and it's worth every single penny that you are investing on this brush. Um, it does. It took care of me for years, like five years. And I always have this one with me for a long time. It's when I go to the show with using a different is the brush from the company so because i don't want no one to ruining my brush so i have it and only need to just wipe off the residues on the bristles and clean it with you know wipe top it will last you uh years years definitely so the first one second one, oh, why do i close this one and i love it because it do it and it one end for you to access in so you can do with the condensed glue gels if you're doing gel um application if you don't have the other brush it's gonna be definitely is the going to be the one so i'm gonna go ahead and using the golden touch and i know this is golden touch it's just the bomb it's shimmery and it's kind of a solid seam shimmery so it's not like it's just glittle so it gives it a lot of like deaf look definition of it so i'm gonna add a little bit more i love it how is a little touch on the veining using the golden touch just make it totally different okay Go on if you want to. If you don't stop right here, here for 60 seconds. Second one. And I said you don't have to, but if your clients just want to get in a little bit in. And also the black veining. Oh, I should adding a black veining on it. This is so cool. This is really cool with even the black veinings and then the gold veining as well. Mm -hmm. So just quick reminder, everyone who's just tuning in, if you like the brush or any product that Nancy used, you can get them from our official website, glissaccessoryandsuch.com. And we currently have our Mother Day sales going on right now, all the way to Mother Day. So stock up, everything is 20% off. Yeah, and free receiving a free mystery trailer bags. It's back now. It haven't been back for a long time. So I'm so excited. And then the back is stuff with more and more and more and more value products. So I'm so excited. Special a gift. So if you are getting it for your loved one, your moms, your even your friends, your bestie, your significant others, girlfriends, whoever it is gonna be, or just because it's gonna be a great, great time to get the um, stock up with a lot of products and get 
receiving a free mystery chair at the back. So I am go ahead and top coat it. Just in case you are going to do a matte top coat. You can do one matte, one shiny. If you're doing a one matte top coat, you will make sure that you putting back in your a shiny veining. I want to do this one is the Just do both shiny now. So you have both. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise yeah. you're gonna have to do the that like go back. Nice. Yay. Cool. All right, I'm gonna wipe it off to make sure that there's no to remove all the excess if it has here for 60 seconds. But I need to I need the clip. Thank you. It looks really good in person though. All right, I'm so excited. Today is such a really good video. I know I say that all the time because every time we're doing live videos, there are something is really cool. And besides, I always thinking of it in different content for you. But it's always is I always have a wow, uh, wow effects. Whatever we finish with the design, sometimes it is turn out beautiful. Like most of the time, all the time, I would say it turn out really cool. Um, this one is just stick on. Oh my god, I didn't realize that I just changed the paper and then to make a mess. Just take that one off, Jeff. Yeah. Pull that one off. Thank you. So take it off and do it away. It was maybe in the next videos I'm gonna give you the crystal designs on all of this. Just one more nails. Here's the final looks. For the design today, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm using crystal, no, I mean alcohol to wipe off. And we are gonna go in to get some ideas of yours uh, pricing for this nails particulars when you're doing your is marble looks using uh, fusioning with the veining. So this is a nails is proximate as. Ten dollars for this veining with the two colors, and also, all, however, is depend on your salon location, your techniques, your skills, and a special promotion you're running. As a lot of you are doing fifteen dollars per nails, a lot of you do ten dollars, a lot of you do eight dollars. Do however it work for your circumstance. Your is um, let's say the business structures. So do not have to worry about what other get to charge. A lot of, you know, is the price on social media can be is $15, $20, but do what works the best for your business. If you are building up your clientele and then want your clients to draw attention from the clients to come into your booth, to your chair, to your salon, you can definitely running some special promotion. This can be free. If you are doing some promotion instead of paying for a lot of advertising, you can able to do it and offer the clients like you are receiving as two cute of marble nails or some of cute design of a nail for my swatch or for my chart. When you are booking your is new set for your next appointment or for this particular that appointment you want to feel in your books. If your books have some uh, more spot or a lot of spot that you definitely would like to Feel it in. You can definitely offer a special burps, early burp special for your clients. It doesn't have to be $20 per nails when you're seeing it, other doing it. Just do what works the best for your business. What I rather to tell all beginners is don't be get overwhelmed and getting uh, panics with a lot of different designs that with when you first start do whatever it takes to build your clientele build your business whether it doesn't matter you can be a free of desire you can do five dollars design ten dollars of desire do however it work the best for you i'd rather you to have your clients to start first 
first of all, they're willing to sit in the chair and they knows that you are brand new and just, you know, like starting your career because they don't mind. And, and second, that they're like excited about what you got to do and also is a free special is designed for them. And third, you get paid and got to practice at the same time. You know, it's you can't go wrong with that. So it doesn't matter if the clients will pay you, for instance, just to saying it to out, you know, straight, like honest, if the clients will pay you $30 or $40 to set up nails when you, it will take you an hour and an hour and a half an hour and an hour and a half with the basic nails or two of a design do not worry about what other people prices oh my god you talk too much you talk too high it's just really too much and too high is also depend on the journey you can't do like compare with someone when they're chapter 12 and we are in a chapter five and then try to feel like you are not chalk enough you have to know your special strengths and your special niche and you go from there and then first start you just have to do whatever it takes first of all to get your clients in the chair and third second you getting income coming in instead of like oh too little i'm not gonna do that like that one have to be a hundred dollar set you know no one know you yet no one knows us yet so we'll have to build up the clientele so if you give this for free absolutely yes i would say yes in a different circumstance if you want to fill up your books give two nails of a cute nail 15 dollars for free when the client is booking a new set worth of like 60 dollars and you not do it for the rest of your life you do it for a month or two months when your skills are picking up and then it getting better and your speed getting faster and you get more than just one person seeing on the chairs and then coming back you would definitely can limit it and then can able to the the promotion can be taken away now it's like is you are receiving the two beautiful nails up to 30 dollars when you are booking a new set of 80 dollars you see what i mean so that is just some of my is We'll say it's just suggestion, but you know what the best for your business. So go and do it. And I hope it's helped with all the tutorials. And then some of the end of the videos get a lot of more talk into it because here's is something that I really care for. It's not on how you, what design we're sharing with you, but how you can able to apply it with your business. There's no point for us to sharing it all beautiful designs and you don't know how to pricing them, how to consult with the clients, and it's gonna be really setting you for a fail. So no, we want you to be able to learn at all the all the techniques to take your business to the next level. And then also you, we want to share with you all the information and it's very detailed so then you can feel really confident to share with your clients, to consult the clients with absolutely 100% of a confidence. So then you're like, all right, so then we are doing this is marble looks and we're gonna do two colors and then with veining, so it's gonna be $10, but if you are doing your just two colors fusioning with no veining, it's gonna be $8. So now there are two different right here. There's more step to get into the veining another step the client oh i see them you know so then you don't they they will see you right away same thing pizza have one topping it will be less than two topping so you just want to make sure you communicate with the client is the key communicate communicate and consult is the important that's how it's going to help you with a lot of questions from your clients a lot of consultation important because in a lot of you couldn't close the sales because of the consultation that failed because the miscommunication between like clients what a hundred or two hundred dollars per set what do i get for two set you make sure you break down every single details and then clients can get to two to eliminating and so oh nancy i love the marble look but i can do it without the is veining so guess what is each veining will off three dollars ten nails at thirty dollars off for the client so then they can able to afford it with the beautiful design marbling without breaking the bank right so it's, it's, it does help for your clients you able to serve them and solve their problem and fulfill their requests so, all right, so I hope it helped because I can sit and talk all day long with the pricing and how you can able to build up your clientele step by step. Let me know if you want like some of a cute, is fun and easy nail tips, talks back again. 
I'm so excited and I can't wait to see you rock this designs and make ton of extra money. Oh my God, Cindy, hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Pandora from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube fam. And here is the Instagram fam. Thanks so much. And all the products you can find on our official website. And I'm so excited because there is 20% off for Mother's Day and receiving a free mystery treasure bags with all purchases of $99 or more, including the shipping taxes and the discount. Have any questions, feel free. If I couldn't catch your questions or the comments, if fast enough as I am doing live, don't have a set to DM. Our DM always open and we'll try to, to exit you as soon as far as possible. And if you have any question regarding to the order or special sales, shipping, please feel free to contact us via email at info glissaccessoryandsuch.com. I'm so excited to to able to do another video with you today. And I'm looking forward to see everyone in the next live videos. Thank you so much. I got the comment, Sue. Hey, thank you so much. I'm so glad it helped and I'm so glad you're tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna save the video. So if anyone's are just, you know, stopping by and miss our entire video, you can definitely watch replays, okay? And thank you, everyone. Have a fabulous Friday and amazing is Friday night. Make sure you take good care of yourself and your family and be safe out there, okay? I will 